Hello, good, after, good morning. This is Nathan Clark coming to you from TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Fountain, Colorado. Today I'm going to talk about the 2023 Newmar Baystar 3014. Stock number on this unit is 5N220635 if you'd like to look it up. What I'd like to do is I'd like to start by showing you all the features and benefits about this unit. Uh, we're going to start from the outside. Come on over with me. Right inside here, this little storage bay where your freshwater tank is located. It's got 75 gallons of fresh water. You also have your Zantex inverter. Nice thing about this coach is that it's probably going to be your smallest Class A on the market and the highest quality you can personally get. Inside the storage bay, you've got a full pass-through, if you notice. You can go all the way through there. There's a little wrench in there. That's for your, for your lug nut fastener, tightener. There's an additional bar on there to provide leverage. These are your vents for your furnace. It's got a 42,000 BTU furnace. It is run on liquid propane. Inside here are some additional electrical power sources. Has a light inside the bay so you can get in there at night. This is your six gallon hot water heater. It is electric and gas. It's going, to be, it's going to be using whatever the most efficient fuel source is possible. This little plastic cap means that it's a ceramic lined water heater. Benefit of ceramic water, lined water heater is you don't have to maintain it a whole lot. You just fill it up with water and heat it and use it. It takes about 30 to 45 minutes to heat up a hot, hot tank. If you pan over to the top here, we've got our carefree awning. That goes out about eight feet from the coach. Gives you lots of room to Kind of relax underneath. It's a beautiful day today here in beautiful sunny Colorado. Here's your Onan Quiet Gas 5500 watt generator. This will service both of your air conditioning units on top of the coach that are 13,500 BTUs. They are also the Penguin heat pumps. So if you have it plugged in and you just want to run electricity on the heat pump, you can keep your coach nice and warm in the cooler months. The storage bay goes all the way across as well. And notice that little hose right there? That hose actually drains off the roof so it doesn't drain alongside your coach and cause water stains on the side of your beautiful full body paint. Here's your generator exhaust. Here's your tow package. It also has your seven pin connector. This is a 5,000 pound towing capacity. Nice thing about this coach is it also has a 3,800 pound cargo capacity. Optioned in, a ladder. Most of the time, if they don't give you a ladder, they don't want you on top. Cool thing about this is you can put different accessories and antennas and different things that you might need up on top. This is your power cord storage bay. It does have a 25 yard or 25 foot 50 amp power power supply, power plug with an outdoor light. Down below here you have storage for chains or if you want to put your sewage pump out or sewage hoses out there you can up above here is your gas now you have an 80 gallon gas tank another storage bay nice thing about class a motorhomes is they put a lot of the storage underneath This is your exhaust tip for your engine. The engine, this is built on an F53 Ford chassis, a 7.3 liter V8, 
350 horsepower with 468 foot-pounds of torque. Inside your wet bay right here, you've got your full RV water filtration system. You've got your freshwater city connect. So if you want to fill up your water tank from your hose, uh, you, you want to make sure you use a water pressure regulator. It says max pressure 60 pounds. Not always can you control how much pressure is coming out of your hose, so get a little water pressure regulator. We usually try to set you up with something like that. Uh, there's a black water tank flush in there. What Sometimes when you're reading your tank gauges, sometimes they read as full. That What that black tank fl flush will do is it'll flush down the sides and also uh, wash off all of your sensors so you don't have to get in there with an additional hose and clean out your toilet. You do have an outside hot and, water, hot and cold water shower, and you can also turn on your pump from outside. Notice that all the, your, your low point drains are actually inside the compartment there. Nice thing about that is by having those inside, they're away from the, the weather. Uh, so you can actually operate this thing in colder weather. Inside here's your black and gray valves. Just like I was mentioning in the last bay, everything's up and away from the outside world here. So that if you do want to drain your, your fluids and everything, you can keep your valves and all your connections uh, from freezing. It is heated from the rest of the coach. Right behind that panel there is your water pump. And another light in there to make sure that you know where everything is. You also have your AGM batteries, deep cell. They're on a slide tray. And there's four of them on there. Twenty-five gallons liquid propane. Nice thing about this is you can fill it up from an any RV center that serves uh, that sells propane. You can also get to the lawn and garden shops that sell propane as well. Just pull it up alongside and they'll fill it up for you. On the side are cameras. When you put your left blinker on, your right blinker on, it'll let you see what's on the left and right side of your coach. If you don't use your blinkers, you don't see. I'm just kidding. You actually have the ability to look down the, the back of the vehicle so you can see your blind spots and everything. There is a back, a back camera that stays on while you're driving down the highway as well. Earlier, I popped open the, uh, the engine compartment from inside the uh, driver position. And this little guy will. There you go. You've got your access to your coolant reservoir, your washer fluid, your uh, hydraulic system. This is your radiator with the transmission oil cooler. Your air filter is up on top, and you've got your two chassis batteries in the front. That's your three. Yeah. Nice snug setup right there. All right. All right, well, come on inside. I'd like to show you what the, what the inside of the uh, 3014 looks like. All right, come on in. There's two slides on this coach. One is a full wall slide, and then you also have the bedroom, which is a, a, a slide on its own. Come on back. Inside the base star, you have your ducted air conditioning for, on your ceiling. You also have a queen size bed. The nice thing about the queen size bed setup is you actually have storage underneath it. And you'll also in the back there, there's an additional sleeve for the dinette. And I'll show you how that sets up. This ladder is actually going to be for the front there. I'm going to pull this up on the side so I can remember to bring it.
full view all the way around. I like the accent lights on the inside of the slide. Notice on both sides of the end tables of the bed, you have power, power uh, 110 plug-ins and also USB plugs. Climb up on the bed here. Notice that up above here, if you crawl on a bed, you've got your ability to turn off your um, all your lights. You can turn them on your reading lights. You can also turn off all the lights from here. Your storage compartments are very, very big. Let me, open, let me close that compartment there behind you. On both sides of the bed, actually up in the top there, you do have a 110 plug. On both sides of the bed, you have storage compartments underneath those end tables. And going through your bedroom, you have full-size drawers. This is going to be for your audio visual for the TV. They have soft clothes on the drawers. You can take a look inside that closet there. Got lots of room. With this coach, you also have a padded ceiling. And also padded ceilings inside the slides. If you bump your head, it's not gonna hurt you too bad. Nice thing about the base door is you have a few uh, light switches on all the way around. Each, each room, each side has light switches so you can control them from here. You can also uh, dim the lights to a high or low. And this is your uh, control for your slide. This is your oh, book. Uh, package of owner, owner's manuals. It, right behind that is going to be an emergency exit in case you need to get out. Here's your pantry. Pantry's got nice solid shelves all the way through, all the way to the back of the pantry there. The Whirlpool two-door Residential refrigerator with ice maker. Anyway. It does have a lock on the door so that, that the uh, doors don't swing open when you're going down the road. Coming around to the stove here. It is a propane stove, three burner, and this grate is removable for cleaning. Underneath, utensils and storage. You also have a, a couple extra uh, touch-up paint, extra TV controllers. This is gonna be your whole, whole house water filtration wrench to tighten in the wet bay. Very large drawers. They're nice and deep. They're about five to six inches deep so you can actually put uh, pans or, or saucepans or uh, anything that you would need to cook with. Additional drawers, nice and deep. This is gonna be a, like a uh, iPad holder so you can actually put it into the passenger seat. These are replacement uh, screens for your vents, for your, for your uh, convection microwave, additional TV controller. Nice how it's soft close. Place to put your scrubbies for the sink. And also lots of storage underneath. And place for your trash can. A 
above here, you got a beautiful backsplash. Your convection microwave oven. You open it up, you notice you've got the metal grill on the inside. And there's instructions on how to learn how to cook with convection. Got metal tray in here for vegetables and whatever you might need. Storage up above. More storage above the sink. Now with the sink, I do have more Corian covers. It's a dual stainless steel sink. And it does also have the capabilities of pulling out the hose of the, of the faucet there and washing around. Notice the wood trim. At Newmar, they take pride in the craftsmanship and the woodwork. Really nice. This is the amaretto uh, color on maple. Let me walk you through to the bathroom here. Take, in, take a look inside the bathroom. We have a full stand-up shower. Nice stainless steel above sink. Above the counter sink. Nice LEDs. I'm going to squeeze through here. Nice deep medicine cabinet, corner cabinet, nice solid shelving, a 110 outlet down here, toilet roll is up above, and then here are some of your electronics. Inside the shower. Now I'm six feet tall. That's probably a good seven and a half feet tall. So if you're a taller person than I am, you don't have to duck to take a shower. It's kind of a nice feature as well. Good place to hang a towel or two. And you have your toilet. Now with your toilet, You've got lots of storage underneath. You've got an additional toilet paper just in case you run out. Nice little storage area down here and a full slide out as well. I'll squeeze through here. All right. Under your entertainment main TV, Look at how deep that slide is. That goes all the way out. You've also got more drawers underneath the Euro booth dinette. And with that, this is where the slide allows you to put another leaf in there and get you some additional length on your table. Up above, you have your Wi-Fi control system. And a few more. You also have power cords and cable cords up above. Very deep storage. Good solid latches. Let's turn around to the top here. Got more storage here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk, I'm going to put the ladder up for the, uh, the bed here. There's an additional bed over here. And with the ladder, this is something that's popular among the kids. It will support 500 pounds up on top. 
That's more of like a twin size bed. Now with this one, I'm gonna put this on it and put it back up. Very easy to do. You have to have the key in the on position. Goes up and out of the way. Now you can lock it up here and take the key out so nobody can play with it while you're driving down the road. That never happens. <laughs> I don't believe you can use it while you're driving down the road. This is the sofa bed. This is an interesting setup. You have this little loop right here and you lift straight up and it folds right over. There's not a lot of room between the, the dinette, but the nice thing about that is you have all this room here as a queen size bed. And then you th throw this guy over there for pillows. If you look through here, underneath this back compartment, there's two additional seat belts in there. Actually, one, two, three seat belts. So if you need seat belts for the amount of people that are in the vehicle, that's gonna be three, five, and I'll check, I'll check under there to see if there's more. okay I mentioned pulling out the slide to add more length there to the table this little guy is a collapsible table as well and then this so you have additional um, table space so you've got dining for two there You've got the ability to um, eat here, eat here. So, got plenty of seating all the way throughout. And there's cup holders on here as well. Now, it is on a arm setup here, so it's a little bit difficult, but it's designed for that. All right, so let's take a look at the... driver position here and I have the fans on Let's see where the fans controls are on this little setup right here you have your uh, automatic leveling cup holder this is a manual window Your battery boost, what this is set up to do is if you say your battery is dead and you need to get additional power, it's going to take power from your 25 watt solar that's on the roof and it's also going to help you start your engine. You can also use that to start your generator. Uh, your generator is for additional power throughout everything. If you're camping off grid, this is going to give you the ability to run both of your air conditionings and all your lights and everything that you need. These are your overhead fans. You got high and low adjustment, dome lights. These are your power mirrors. If you notice on the top one, that's adjustable. The bottom one is not power. If you need to adjust that view, you can go out there and adjust it based on what angle you need to see. These are gonna be your automatic defrost. So you can, uh, if you're out in the winter months, you can thaw your, your mirrors. Hazard lights. These little air conditioning vents are adjustable so you can adjust where the air is if you're driving and you're in a lot of traffic and your palms get sweaty you adjust it that way got a traction control off button 
what traction control is for is basically if you if you're on icy conditions when the traction control is on it will automatically adjust the power to the wheel that has traction if you get in a situation where you're in mud or ice or snow and you need positive traction that's when your both wheels are going to spin at the same time you want to turn that off I have a couple of little accessory plug-ins down below here and also this is a plug for USB plugs your parking brake is right down here and your release is right above it your hood re release is down next to your parking brake re adjustment there you can't see it it's right underneath the dash there you also have tilt steering and it is also telescopic in your gauges you press ok and then you can go through left arrow right arrow tells you your distance tell empty Pretty simple system. Your cruise controls right here. If you look at your, you've got your tack, you've got your speedometer, you've got your fuel gauge, and also your manual controls. So if you're planning on towing, this little button on the end puts it in tow mode so it doesn't allow it to go into overdrive. You also have the capabilities of shifting your gears manually right here. Now it is a torque shift six speed transmission. So you can actually control each gear that you want. And the benefit of that is you don't have to eat up your brakes when you're going down a long grid. You do have your control here. This has actually got a, a uh, cover over it to prevent the uh, people from gr gumming it up with fingers. You also have serious satellite radio capabilities. You have Apple CarPlay. Now, with the Apple CarPlay, you do have to be plugged into a USB in order to get that to work. You have a USB plug-in right here for that system. In the bedroom in this unit, you actually have an auxiliary heater. It's an aftermarket, uh, it's not aftermarket, it's an optioned in. Right here you have camera select. Let's go back here, see if we can get to the camera. You can see where different views are just by the push of the button. This shade right here, since I have the ignition on, it, shouldn't, it won't let me go any further. With the ignition off, it'll allow me to go all the way down. On the passenger side there, it does have the ability to recline the seat and also move forward and backward. And then this little lever right here allows it to pop open for a foot rest. On both sides of these, on the passenger side and the driver side, those are cordless cell phone chargers. Above the driver, and passenger, you have additional storage compartments. Well, that's just about it on the 2023 Newmar Baystar 3014. Again, I'm Nathan Clark. Thank you for joining us today from TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Fountain, Colorado. We're looking at stock number 5N220635. Please give me a call if you have any questions. My phone number is 719 six six zero three five six six